Tell me what's happening. Well, this is a this is like the legend uh, of the Rainbow Bridge, and uh, what happened was uh, this is Hutash, the mother uh, Mother Earth, the Earth Goddess, and uh, so she decided that uh, she wanted to create people. So she had this got the seeds from this magical plant, and she planted them on Limu which is uh, Santa Cruz, is presently Santa Cruz Island. Oh. Uh, so, uh, and she, through, by planting the seeds, she created the first Chumash people. And uh, uh, this is, her husband was uh, the sky snake. And uh, so, what he did, he, he, uh, he decided that, that he wanted to give the Chumash people a gift because at, when she uh, planted the seeds, they emerged full grown, uh, men and women. Um, so he decided to give them uh, the gift of fire. So <clears throat> what he did is he basically shot out a bolt of lightning, which created fire mm -hmm. uh, so that the Chumash people could cook and keep themselves warm. Um, so anyway, so the Chumash people on the island of Limu prospered, you know, uh, because they had fertile uh, lands and, uh, so what happened like anything else, <laughs> it, it'd be, it was overpopulated. There was too many people on the island. And so, uh, she became annoyed. <laughs> Because it was too much damn noise, you know. So all of a sudden, all these people, you know, she couldn't, uh, she could, let's say, you know, get a rest or whatever. Uh -huh. So she decided to uh, build uh, a rainbow bridge so that the Chumash people could uh, walk across the island to the mainland. So uh, anyway, she created this bridge. And so uh, the families, you know, and the people cross a bridge. And so what happened on the way to across the bridge, some of the people looked down. And when they looked down, they fell off the, the bridge. So she didn't want the people to drown or die. So when they hit the water, they turned into dolphins. And wow. ever since uh, that day, the Chumash people have this relationship with the dolphins. They, cre they consider them their brothers. And so that's how the Chumash people went from the island of Lima, which is Santa, presently Santa Cruz Island, to the mainland. And uh, anyway, the condors are, are a sacred uh, figure to the, uh, to the Chumash people. Stuff. So mm -hmm. that's the story. And right. uh, my grandma was a Chumash, and uh, so I used to hear those stories when I was a kid. Yeah, I did, that was just kind of a rough. I just kind yeah. of wanted to get an idea and stuff, and uh -huh. you know, just kind of get the colors uh, straight and stuff. Let's see if I can open this up here. Yermol's basically, it was kind of like mine too, because there's a serpent in there, you mm -hmm. know, and this is Yermol's. So he had the feathered serpent. And uh, that's kind of a, uh, uh, that's in Mexican mythology is, is uh, the feathered serpent. Uh, Quetzalcoatl basically, to make a long story short, is that uh, when he basically got disgusted what was going on with the, uh, the people, uh, the indigenous people of Mexico. So basically he just says, I'm getting out of here, so I'm going back east. And uh, so it was prophesied that one day he would return, come back from the east. So what happened is that the indigenous people of Mexico, when uh, the Aztecs, for instance, when uh, Cortez came, they thought he was Quetzalcoatl because he came from the east. So, And that was one of the reasons that they <laughs> lost the battle to the Spaniards, you know. Um, so that's, that's, that's your this painting there. It's really beautiful. It is. And so is yours. Well, thank you. Yeah. Uh, another artist, uh, Amalia Mesa Baines, is going to be doing the cover. Mm -hmm. That there's four of us.
I guess we've been uh, at this long enough so we'll become, you know, like politicians and lawyers, you know, we've become respectable after <laughs> all these years uh -huh. <laughs> that yeah. we've worked and stuff. And we, we've all uh, historically have, have participated one way or another in the Chicago. You've movement. always been ingrained but not always recognized. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. For me, it's not, it's not about, you know, uh, you know, being out there and, and being well known. It's just, I just kind of like to work with people. I like, I'm a community artist, you know, that's what I've done, you know, and uh, it's my whole thing is to be able to work with people to, uh, get them involved in the kind of a cr the creative process. Um, and that's kind of what I'm all about, you know, is so that it was a creative pro uh, process. They can kind of create visions of themselves, uh, of what they're doing in their life, uh, of, you know, the issues of the day. And stuff. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. It's all about collaboration. You know, it's all about people getting together and doing something positive. That's kind of what I've, that's what I've always been up for. You know, I never made it really any money. <laughs> I, you know, I've been able to support myself, but I just never, you know, I, I never thought about making money. I just thought about, you know, because I was a, a, a product of the 60s, I just wanted to make a difference. You know, I wanted to make a difference in people's lives. And I felt that was very important.